An environment is a system of living things. The Earth is our environment. The capacity of our environment to provide space, to produce food, and to supply energy are all limited. Humans thrive on less than 17% of the Earth's surface, and only about 4% will grow crops. We depend on these limited resources for our survival, yet we are increasing our population as if they were infinite. This fact is at the core of our environmental problems. On this map, we'll show population growth from the year 1 CE to the present and project our growth into the year 2050. Population concentrations will be indicated by dots, each of which will represent one million people. In areas where people are spread out and don't live in concentrations of one million, dots are placed in the middle of their approximate range. Historical references will be provided by images and text at the bottom of the screen. The world population in 1 CE is about 170 million. Agriculture has advanced to the point where farmed land is producing 50 times more food than unfarmed land. Located in present-day China, the Han Dynasty is one of the two major world civilizations at the beginning of the first millennium. The Romans control a highly developed empire. At one point, Rome has an estimated 1 million residents. But by 476 CE, the Roman Empire begins to decline. Global population reaches an estimated 190 million people. Under the Gupta dynasty, 320 to 335 CE, India takes a prominent role in world culture, science, and the arts that lasts well into the 5th century. Around 550 CE, the Mayan Empire is flourishing in Central America. Chichen Itza becomes the empire's epicenter and the most famous city on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. A new religion, Islam, develops in the Middle East in the 7th century. Increased trade contributes to Islamic expansion throughout parts of Europe and Asia. Both the Vikings in Europe and the ancient Puebloan cliff dwellers in the southwestern region of the present-day United States reach their cultural peak. The dots in Central and South America represent the Toltecs of Mexico, Mayans in Central America, the Moche civilization of Peru, and the Amazonian cultures of Brazil. Trans-Saharan trade, the use of camels and the spread of Islam encouraged the development of trade routes across the Saharan desert in northern Africa. Berber people led caravans of thousands from Mediterranean settlements in Morocco and Egypt to Ghana, Mali, Niger. Crusades, wars between Muslim and Christian armies in Southeast Europe and the Middle East go on for 200 years. By 1100 world population reaches 320 million people, Mongol invasions, first war, then disease, cuts what is modern-day China's population in half, as indicated by the disappearance of dots. Black Death, the bubonic plague travels from Asia, through the Middle East, and into Europe. It spreads most quickly in Europe because that is where population density and crowding are highest, the Incan and Aztec empires are among the most flourishing cultures of the 15th century. The Aztecs build their capital city at Tenochtitlan in present-day Mexico. Europeans land in North and South America, searching for gold, enslaving indigenous people, and spreading diseases that decimate indigenous populations. Atlantic slave trade, cash crop demands, such as sugar and tobacco, in Europe and the Americas lead to the spread of slavery and fuel the transatlantic slave trade. Colonial America, European diseases decimate indigenous populations in the present-day United States. Industrial Revolution, the 18th and 19th centuries bring advances in food production, water supply, sanitation, transportation, and disease control. Modern medicine, advances in medicine and a new understanding of how diseases spread lead to preventions and treatments, icons representing the world wars, the Green Revolution and the Information Age appear quickly during this segment. In 2050, you may want to pause the video at this point, with world population over 9.5 billion. Our population is expected to grow to 10 billion by the end of this century. Yet the Earth's size remains the same. 
Slowing human population growth and lowering our use of natural resources are key to reducing the impact we have on the planet. Through the decisions we make about our lifestyles, our numbers, and our consumption, we can all help preserve the health and beauty of our home.